Number 23. We've had 23 conversations uh, since last year around this whole idea of uh, it's 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 like the newest part of the of the career value proposition. That if I want to take a ride in a summit salon and, and I'm looking at it as a career, yes, I want to make a lot of money, but I'd like to have something extraordinary to uh, show for my devotion to myself and my livelihood and my guests and the salon brand that I'm with. And so in addition to having a great livelihood, I want to be a millionaire. I want to uh, have a seven-figure net worth. And I'd like to do that before I'm halfway through with my career. And we have, we now have a plan and a summit choo-choo track to make that happen. So since last year, we've had, this is our 23rd conversation, always in search of uh, summit salon owners, uh, summit service providers that are on that track. We bring them here to show you what's possible. And today is no different. Donna Houston is a, uh, a Summit Salon owner uh, out of El Dorado Hills, California. She, is, she owns a uh, salon, and it's uh, Adagio for Hair. And uh, I would say that, you know, in addition to being a Summit Salon owner, I think one of the Summit's uh, slogans has always been, um, you know, growing people for a living, uh, doing hair for fun. And, and while Donna, that's been her mission, I think today more than ever, she is growing, in addition to growing people for a living, she is now began the quest of growing millionaires for a living. And she's owning her business for fun. And uh, she um, probably in Q3, Q4 of last year, launched a 401k plan. Uh, I was a little bit of the launch, but I've never seen a plan launched with so uh, much thought and people were so excited about it uh, that they, uh, they, they committed, that, that, that she's got a very, very high degree of participation and now people have really uh, adopted that. And I'm not gonna take any, anything away from her story, but I tell you that because that's why I wanted her to come on with me this afternoon uh, and share that experience. Her uh, history, is uh, in 2013, she started Adagio, actually attended her first summit in or around that time. Um, and uh, in 2020, that, that, that's a, uh, the, not last year, but the year before, launched her 401. And in a relatively short period of time, that has grown to be 400%. And now a big part of that growth happened last year from the, the, um, the, the degree of people that are not only participating, but any of you that really have a 401 know that last year was an extraordinary year in annual, uh, whether you want to call that return on investment, annual yield, uh, interest. I think the, the average plan grew about 19, 20%. So she, she's got a lot to say about that. Now, um, I would bet that there's going to be a number of salons watching this um, this afternoon and then the rewatch that are going to have some more questions that we won't just have time to take a deep dive on. If you're interested in chatting with her, she'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, you can find uh, her uh, on Instagram. I think direct message would be the quickest way to get a hold of her. That's Adagio for hair. Uh, and, and by the way, when you get there, check out her, her plan, uh, her uh, Instagram platform. I just love how she's using it. It's almost become her website before the website. So without any further ado, she's in my, the back now. I'm going to bring her out, and then we're going to get her to talk a little bit about her story and then really focus on, uh, focus on getting her to chat about uh, what she is doing uh, with her 401k that made it so uh, so extraordinary. And you're going to make her feel welcome. Hi, Donna. Hi, Michael. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving up a, a few minutes of your life this afternoon to come on with me to uh, chat about um, this extraordinary thing you have going on, growing millionaires for a living, and now you kind of pour some nitroglycerin on your little bonfire called 401k. So, 
eager to get into that conversation, but b before we do that, I always like to get the story because the story gives us all an appreciation about your journey. So how about if we start with that? Who, who are you and how did you get Adagio and how did you get Adagio to the place that you're at today? Okay. Well, I just want to thank you for this chance to share this story and I really hope it touches everyone. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Um, I am a retired from the chair hairdresser so long now that I lie about how long I've been doing hair. So I got to retire last January because of the growth in our salon. Wow. Okay. I, so you've, you, this is your, you're celebrating your first year to being completely out from behind the chair. Correct. I didn't yeah. know that. And Congratulations. Thank you. Busier than ever. This, uh, we started Adagio back in 2013. This is my fourth salon venture. I had three other salons in Las Vegas. And this one, we've been going at it for about eight years now. So I just love it. I have a background in working for Redken as a business development manager and a training manager, which is where you and I met so many years ago. Yes, and I remember that era. Yeah, it gave me a great foundation to be a salon owner and, and to really enjoy the ride and learn so much. Pass it on too. Yeah. So um, I want to pivot to the, the, the whole piece around 401k because you had the crew and the model that you had quite a few years before you decided to launch your 401k. The 401 was launched in 2020. Mm -hmm. You uh, started Adagio in 2013. What is that? That's like a six to seven year window. What inspired you to really make this as a piece of your model? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, it's always been a legacy piece for me. It's always been uh, something that was important to me in terms of how can I really improve my team's life more so than just owning a salon, far more so than how much money can someone make owning a salon. It's what can I do for people that I come in contact with that I'm lucky enough to mentor and have work for me and what's the very best I can do for them. So to be honest with you, it was on my radar for a really long time and I have an excellent CPA and I was able to just kind of keep bringing it in front of him and like, this is a goal of mine. It's on my bucket list. It's a career bucket list. And I need to make this happen. So just tell me when. Yeah. Well, I know that you launched in 2020. So it had been in play for a little while. And then you and I, I, I came and I did a, a, a an, an in salon for you and your people. I think there was a couple of other salons or so that you invited. And then you and I kind of had an opportunity to catch up. And then we just, we liked each other's energy and we stayed in touch with each other. And then we, we, we went through the uh, Behind the Chair Millionaire. And that's when it became apparent to both of us that there was some, a loose end that needed to be tied down. I want, I want you to talk about what the experience of 401k was in 2020, even part of 2021, before the Big Bang. <laughs> well, I want to go back to that class that you had. Um, that you were talking about, that really was, if I was to point to one pivoting moment, it was when I began to realize, oh my gosh, Michael's really getting the word out there that hairdressers can be million millionaire stylists and they really can retire far younger than I am now. And I started taking, I love data. So I took that data and I started really crunching like, wait a minute, we have people on my team that are easily there. And that's when I started talking to you more and so grateful that I had you because yeah, our energy, I was like, Michael, this could happen. Show me how, you know, so, so lucky that I had your mentorship to do that. And um, that's when it really caught fire. And so just through the days of being in the salon, I would start telling people, download this calculator. Let's look at that. You know, let's set some goals. And they were starting to get very excited, but I'll tell you, they were also very skeptic. Yeah. And that's when you and I started really partnering and like, no, it's true. Look what he's doing. Yeah. So I want to catch up the, the, the community up that when COVID hit, um, L'Oreal commissioned me to create something that gave people inspiration, motivation and hope. And so out of that came the Behind the Chair Millionaire. It uh, it was a Zoominar series that uh, 
L'Oreal uh, funded, courtesy of L'Oreal. And I remember you and uh, your entire staff, I think, were watching it. Uh, I think mm-hmm. there was two or three episodes and you were you were DMing me and texting me saying, my people, we're going to watch it as a, a salon. And, and uh, so part of the awakening was that. And then your people were playing with the apps, the, the calculators, the uh, golden goose and the dream machine and the debt. Mm-hmm. But you said something to me. You said, good news, I have a 401k but there, I, I want to get more participation. Isn't that where you and I started trying to think out loud as to what might we try to get people, more of your people to take advantage of that? Absolutely. So in 2020 was my, in fact, January 1st, 2020, we actually went live, so to speak, with our 401 and immediately got shut down just a few weeks later. So, you know, we lost momentum for a minute, but 77 days later, you know, we reopened and that's when we started really focusing again and talking about the millionaire classes. I think during those times, I invited my 401 financial advisor into the salon many times to explain it. And most of us were asleep. I hate to say that during his you know, talks, but the difference was he's not speaking our language. We don't understand this. And you have a favorite phrase that I love, Michael, which is you don't have to understand it right now. You just have to trust the process. But for goodness sakes, don't miss out. Just jump in and get going. And really, when you and I started talking more about like, listen, we need to talk to these people at a level in which they comprehend what this really means. And we didn't approach it from a financial point of view, which I thought was brilliant. We approached it together, number one, as a team. And we were explaining to them, there is life beyond the chair. That's what they need to focus on. Don't focus on your paycheck right now. Don't even focus on your short-term goals. Go ahead and think about your long-term goals because there's going to come a day that you won't be doing this anymore. And what does life look like for you? And that was the start of the oh. awakening, as I call it. Yeah, yeah. I And you really, I mean, you you were mentoring and tutoring me about what you thought your people needed to hear because we were in waters nobody had charted before. So there was that part of it. We'll call it the personal side of money. And 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 what you're going to what your life is going to be like over time. And I remember that conversation. And then I remember you really, you know, uh, pushing me to when you can you explain this to them in, in a way that a hairdresser could hear it and go where the lights would go on. And then you and I, we had this hunch about an idea and um, to talk about that, and then I'll stand on your shoulders, because there was a person in your staff that was actually part of that uh, demonstration. And that, by the way, happened, everything was on Zoom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so two or three times we gathered as a salon to just talk to Michael about money and to talk about this idea of, is it real that there really are hairdressers out there retiring with a million dollars and retiring at a young age? And once we proved to them that, yeah, it really is real, you can do this, they started really waking up. And we had personal conversations with them about money. And I think that's really where a salon owner should start if they want to do a 401 is start really paying attention to having open conversations about people's money and not just their goals as it relates to the salon. But what's your life like in the future? What is your why? Why are we doing this? Right. Let's get some traction. Let's get going. And the special moment came when you, I, I believe it was our last Zoom meeting, but we, I asked you if we could use a couple of um, my team members, one of which is a really young lady, so proud of her. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my Hannah Miller, because she was lucky enough to be raised um, in a home that helped her understand money. And so she knew when the 401 came along that she was going to go ahead and join that. And she kind of shared her story of like, this is this has been a practice since I was a kid, so it comes easy. And then we had um, some other people jump in that are kind of late bloomers to the idea, but it really caught fire. And there was a moment of silence when literally a, a, a moment of science when, silence when you said, 
here's how it goes. Cause I, I contribute 4% and I do a 4% match. Um, that is the limit. I don't know. You could help me explain a little better and I'll leave that to you when you did the, you do one, I do right. one. Yeah. Kind of so yeah, I wanted, first of all, the community to know that in addition to 401, you, you, you show your commitment by matching and, and your, your, your level of match now based on your prob uh, profitability is 4%. And that was, uh, I got intrigued about that because I've heard of 2%, 3% matches. You start getting beyond three and it's getting interesting. And I think now that people are motivated, I, who knows where that's going to be. But Hannah, and I believe Hannah is a 20, is she on the front end of 20 something? She is. And she's doing very, very well. And so we, I thought, well, let's get Hannah on and she was up front on Zoom and we were chatting. I said, so Hannah, can I just ask you a question? What do you think your W-2 is going to be this year? And uh, I, the number she gave me, it was $70,000. So it was, you know, it was, it was well into five figures, but it, she didn't quote a hundred or a hundred. It was really more towards the norm. Right. Mm -hmm. And I said, so, OK, so there's this whole four percent match. Let's just take a look at it and hairdressers speak what it looks like. So we, we, we said that if it was seventy thousand, one percent of seventy thousand dollars to make it simple was seven hundred dollars. And I said, so, Hannah, if you decided this year that you were going to you were going to put seven hundred dollars into your 401, uh, Adagio, Donna Houston of Adagio says, I'm committed to you. I'm going to put another 1% or $700 on top of that. So we, now we got your 700, Adagio 700, seven and seven is 1400. You've got 1400 in and, and this is before it grew. So that's what a 1% match means. And you, you know, the room got a little quiet and I said, but you're going to put in another percent. So, so Hannah, you got two that now you got a 1400. Uh, Adagio said, I'm, I'll do with it. I'll do that too. So now we got 14 and 14 is a 2,800. You're, you're doubling your money before. And somebody said, well, how, 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 how many times can we do that? And I said, you can do it four times and Donna can, she, she'll uh, match it four times. So we, we did the math on it. What was it? Uh, 2,800, 2,800. It came out to like $5,600. And, you know, the, the, the uh, 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 $2,800 of it was that, that you put in. And that's when you could have heard a pin drop. Talk about that because today you call that something. I want you to tell the community. Yeah. Yes, it was it was a really exciting moment. You could feel the energy because the entire salon team that was there just got quiet and it was it was the great awakening. That's what I call it. And you could like I said, you could feel the energy. They were oh, oh, oh my gosh. And then it got very exciting. Um, because another thing that I would recommend and that we did is we had my financial advisor come again. So I think he had already been to the salon maybe four times by then. And after we hung up with you on Zoom, there was a line to, to meet with him. Oh, and well, that, that, I mean, that, what, that's what was brilliant about that is because I think I came on at nine in the morning and uh, your advisor came in at 10. And I don't know that I was with your people half hour or so. So we really greased the wheels, if you will for your financial advisor to come in for another visit. And, and you were like texting me, you were hyperventilating saying, my <laughs> people are so stoked. They're, you know, they, 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 they've wrestled them to the ground in the parking lot and they're, you know, they're fighting over who can be first to get signed up. And, <laughs> and, and I think he made the comment that he'd never walked into any place of business where people had understood the value and what percentage of your employees now in some way, shape or form are participating in your plan? Yeah, as many as uh, can are, are there. I think we're, we have one more to come into the fold. Um, but this year, because they do have to be with my salon company for a year before they're qualified to jump in. And so we have a waiting list right now. I'm super excited. Um, there are team members that are like, now when's my anniversary again? What's my date? They just can't wait. 
I have to tell you, it's the most exciting thing that you can do. Anytime you give, you know, to people, you it just creates so much energy and you want to give more. And um, that's that's where I get tickled. That's where I really had the most fun that day. And yeah, blowing up your your text because it's like, oh my gosh, Michael. And the the financial advisor when he left, he he needed some oxygen, that's for sure. He's 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 never even worked with a hair salon that does a 401 before. So it was great fun. Yeah, and you know, you and I, and typically I don't get uh you know, we don't go as deep um uh, on on uh I mean, I, we don't go as deep on uh, how we got deep with you. I said, listen, we're both learning here. I have a feeling that we're we're creating the the we're, we're predicting the future as we're creating it, right? And so I believe there was another follow up meeting, and that was a bit we didn't talk about. That's when we talked about your money, and mm-hmm. it got really really personal. That if now that you're awake or awakened or enlightened, let's just, let's move forward two years, five years, 10 years, uh, you know, 15 years, because the longer you do this, the, the not just the bigger, but the faster it's going to grow. <clears throat> Here are some things to watch out for. You remember, you remember that? Sure do. And, and it's important to really think about, because if you're talking about large sums of money in your life, you're going to alienate some people, unfortunately. You know, whenever life changes and people grow, it's just human nature. Some people go with you on the ride and some people don't. And I think what was brilliant is we're doing a whole, um, gosh, I would call it a 365 approach to money. How does it affect them emotionally? How is this going to affect their relationship? You know, let's certainly tie into their why of why we're doing this, because I keep getting back to the life beyond the chair. And I think that really helped them understand, like, this is going to become a way of life for me. This will be, I will live in wealth if I choose to go down this path. And therefore, that's going to change the game a little bit. And to feel okay with that, to be okay with, I need to protect my money and be confident that um, I don't get taken advantage of, to be quite honest, because well, yeah, and, and the, the the I think the average age of your crew that I saw was looking at mid twenty something, late twenty something, maybe, but there was just a lot of front end of twenty something, and I remember vividly because I've actually had a few more conversations that if if what we hope goes goes, you will be in or around late 30s, early 40s, look back and say, gee, if there was an Academy Award for the best decision that I ever made, this would win hands down in terms of I was persistent, I was consistent, at times I was persevering and making, maximizing my uh, opportunity. I'm going to put in four, I get my four. But the other thing that we said was that, you know, this is not front page news. This has been around a while. And there are some people that get to a 20-year window, and that was not their experience. That mm-hmm. light, it, And it wasn't because it didn't work. It's life gets lifey. Mm-hmm. So sometimes all of a sudden you're up against something where you really need money. And, of course, you look at your, your goose and go, okay, I'm going to I, I'm going to invade the goose, if you will. I'm going to reach up into the goose and pull out some golden eggs early. And that's your business. But what will happen is I don't want to say you'll kill the goose, but the, the goose is not going to be what it could be and would be. And some people do kill it. So have a conversation with somebody else about are there other ways you can find the money to get you through this life is really lifey right now and I need more money before it's almost like make your 401k plan the 11th commandment thou shalt not invade this this is for my future do you remember that conversation absolutely and and that that becomes it came after the great awakening for sure yes um you know, and understanding, because there's, all of us are going through things, you know, we're losing family members, unfortunately, we have divorces, we have all the lifey things that you said. And I think what's starting to happen is people are starting to enjoy conservation from what I'm hearing. Yes. What I mean by that is like, 
you almost start getting a little obsessive of how little you can spend so that you don't ever have to touch the golden goose. Yes. You almost start bragging about like, hey, I'm down to two Starbucks this week instead of 10. You yeah, know, yes, yes, yes. You start realizing that cash in hand is super, super important. Oh, what you're saying is profound because you, you, lest we forget, you work in a summit salon. So you all of a sudden now looking for opportunities to turn up your, we'll call it the fuel, your income is because you all of a sudden you start believing, you know, I'm going to set a goal this year to make 10 or $20,000 more than I did last year. And, uh, you know, I, I will, I'll save more, but maybe I'll put uh, it in a, a rainy day fund so that when the rainy day, when life gets lifey, I'll, I'll have that for my money rather than invade the goose. So all of a sudden people begin, it's like the sides get blown off of their money box and they say, look, as long as I have time and I want something else, I'll, I'll grow my income to get it, but I will not invade the goose because the goose is for a part of my life where I'd love to be able to, I probably have had 20 conversations where people's goal now is to, quote, retire early. I want to be mm -hmm. able to retire in my 40s or 50s if I want to. Absolutely. It's it's really funny you're, you're saying that because we're smack in the middle of um, our annual, you know, goal setting time and in which we set aside time for every single person on our team to say, all right, how much more do you want to make this year? Uh, and they'll let me know. We 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 love you know setting those goals. Everyone does. But what you just said was really profound because as I'm getting some complete, there was a team member that literally said, "Hey, I want to have X amount of dollars saved. Just in it. Just in a fund. Just sitting there. You know, it's very important to me." I said, "Oh, you're going to do a 401. You're going to do an IRA. Nope. I just want it sitting there. It's just cash, so I know it's there. And it's like you know, that's a great idea because." For this particular person, as you said, that 401 is forgotten. That's gone. She doesn't, we don't even think in terms of that, or she doesn't think in terms of that being available to her. So it made her think like, okay, where else can I kind of squirrel away some money? And it gets exciting for me to be able to coach them to be able to do that. Well, yeah, just to, as we're, as you and I, and you and I probably every couple of weeks or so, we'll do our own Zoom and just catch up on each other. But People begin to mature financially, and we can have very personal conversations like most many of us came from a family of origin that we'll call it very modest means in financial to even we could call it, dare we say, impoverished. So as you not only find a livelihood that's going to yield higher income, and you begin building something that is beyond, let's say, your family of origin, whatever you want to call that, security, wealth, prosperity, that you really want to have an appreciation of that difference and be very, very discreet because it's going to cause energy and put you in awkward positions. And we've even now started that conversation with your people and I, because it's such an important conversation and it's unprecedented. I said to you, you and your people, I would be more than happy to show up compliments of L'Oreal and continue so that people, we raise the probability that this doesn't uh, hurt people, that it's something for the good of all and the harm of none, but we need to practice discretion or we, we, we jeopardize the potential in it. Absolutely. I think I, I also want to be really clear. You and I share a same story. I, I did not come from a family of origin that had income or even taught good money practices. That was something I learned later and, and really have um, a family member to thank for, for some tough love that wouldn't literally let me, you know, borrow anymore, but they taught me how to fish. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful and always, always uh, thankful for that. But I came into this late in life. And, and I also want to point out that, you know, it might sound easy to some people out there. We have everyone on our team that are at different places. Some are like, okay, I'm just scared to like, go ahead and commit that. However, what percent, you know, I'm close. I just, I just 
And it's, that's when it's like, trust it, trust it. It's free money being matched by me. You don't want to miss that. You don't have to understand it, but just don't miss out on the free money part. Um, and as you said, it becomes a very sensitive, um, especially as I see my team evolving from going from, I don't understand and I don't trust to, oh my God, I'm so glad I did. It's starting to get exciting. Look what's going to happen to me when I'm my, I'm going to be 60 in a few years. And it's what's going to happen to me then Donna, I would have retired long ago before I would have reached your age. And we start having those fun conversations and, and they joke with me a little bit about that. And, and we have great fun, but that is, that is true that, that it's right. a sensitive conversation along the way. Well, two other points I want to make before we kind of wind down. One, I, I put out into the world that I'm working, that th this is a work that we've been developing, but the vision, the intention is that someday that it would be in a book that L'Oreal would gift. Uh, and people, when's the book? When's the book? When's the book? And I'm going, Look, listen, it's coming, but I want to make sure that we have the right pieces in the book and not get the book done early and miss this part of it. And you, what you myself, another, some other people, we're learning as we go. The other that you, you and I are seeing is it opens up a, a new conversation so that when it's time to raise prices or there's going to be, a, you know, a, 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 another charge that's going to come down the road with uh, color charges or ticket charges or whatever, it, it's another why. It's another, you know, it, it, it's a new why that says, let's put our minds together and figure out how we can get our guests involved to making a contribution to our to our 401 by being more strategic and intentional with our next price raise. And so while we're not there yet, it just kind of opened up the yeah. field of possibility. So it gives us all something uh, to look forward to. So I, I want to thank you for your uh, willingness to kind of innovate and pioneer this uh, with me. I want to thank you, Michael, for being willing. And I, I really encourage the whole salon community out there to take advantage of what you're offering. It's priceless, honestly. And I think the difference is what we did is we took a, a very common benefit and brought it into the salon community and made it friendly for salon owners and team members to participate because it's not scary when it's talked in hairdresser language to begin with. It, yeah. it, it is real. It's not for rich people only or people that have really high paying jobs and large corporations. And I think that was the secret sauce is partner with L'Oreal, partner with Michael Cole, right. have him come in, help it be user friendly. And well, that's where you begin. And you could also work backwards from that. Then you go shopping for your 401. Yeah. yeah. And, and so what I would in, invite the people that are watching this afternoon and that will get the rewatch and I know that Grace Ann, I got a good friend, Grace Ann Burke is watching. She's in the Summit community. I have the bandwidth now, compliments of L'Oreal, to do for Summit Salons what I've done for you. So I would have no problem, courtesy of L'Oreal, of course, to come in and do the meeting or meetings that, I'm do, that I've done for your people so that you, the, the, the Summit staff has the full understanding and appreciation of the value of this and that they adopt this as a, a very important part of their life. Now, how long am I going to be able to make this offer before I'm out of bandwidth? Who knows? But if I'm watching this now or rewatch, I can't encourage you enough. Take advantage of that. DM me, and I would be more than happy to engage a Summit Salon owner uh, in the conversation and making that happen. Yes. Thank you for being willing. Well, um, before I say goodbye to you, promise me that you'll come back probably in the second part, half of this year. We're still in some, we're still in the soup, you know, the, the, the global pandemic soup. But promise me you'll come back, you know, the second part of uh, 22 to have the conversation because I have a feeling that whatever you, you, has been done now is going to pale in comparison to where we're all going to be with your people six months from now. 
I would love to. Thank you for the invitation. I That's the next step is how can I give more? What can we do? How can we get creative with ourselves, you know, and partner with par- partners like uh, L'Oreal? All what right. Happen? I'm going to let you get back to your busy life, my friend. Thank you very much. Say hi to all my homies at Adagio. And you and I will chat very soon. Okay. Thank you, Michael. All Happy right. New we're going to give it up for Donna Houston one more time, gang. <laughs> See you, Donna. Bye-bye. That was a big conversation, and I want to make sure that you that uh, you really um, uh, take advantage of uh, you know what we were what we were chatting about. So if and when you get yours set up, uh, and uh, you would like some gasoline on the fire, if you'll DM me, I would be more than happy to come in and 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 do for you what I did for. Donna's people. Now it's all Zoom. There's no airplanes. There's no Ubers. There's no hotels. And uh, to, so that you'll get off to the uh, start that she w- will. Now, many of you already have a 401 and your people just don't get it. So if there's anything I can do in a, in a Zoom meeting to kind of blow the sides off of their money box so that they can begin to understand and have much, much more appreciation, because you can't appreciate what you don't understand. And like I said, her, her and I have been kind of playing with this conversation, and we think we, we have it now to where people are going, I'm in. Like, this is so important. So uh, DM me. Uh, you can message, your, uh, message me on Facebook or DM me on um, my Instagram page. So uh, I, without any further ado, it's been, a, um, it's been just an extraordinary conversation. I want to thank... Uh, uh, L'Oreal Professional Products. Uh, we couldn't make something like this happen without their financial support. Uh, you can see how this is evolving. So please get committed to their brands to the degree that you're committed to L'Oreal's brands and you, your, your guests are committed to L'Oreal's brands. L'Oreal is in a position to continue to, they've almost become the the, 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 the foundation, the grant foundation, so that we have the fuel to continue to bring you uh, what, we're, what, what you just saw in the last half hour. Biolage, Pulp Riot, Kerastase, Purology, L'Oreal Professional, Redkin, Matrix, Shu, and uh, Mazzani. So thank you, L'Oreal. Thank you to the Summit Salon Business Center. We'll, we will continue the conversation, and uh, I'll be back on... Uh, Thursday night with a great surprise as well. We have we found another, you know, second year six-figure W tour. We did that last week and uh it's it, it's just amazing. Anytime I bring somebody to the a new conversation, all of a sudden people kind of come out of the closet and say, "Me too. I'm doing it. Can I tell you?" And so uh look forward to uh, our guest uh, on uh, Thursday night to do that. So, have a great week and we'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs>